Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, well, we are here at something that a lot of you have been asking. When is this going to happen? When should we get this? Um, well, it's official that now the uh, game manufacturers will be able to actually give us direct storage. It's now available. It's now something that is um, going forward. So the public uh, API for it is now released. So that means any developer that wants to use this capability will now have the possibility to do so. Now, contrary to what a lot of people have been seeing, a lot of um, a lot of people have been actually um, talking about the fact that it's Windows 11 only, and that's not true. It is Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now. It's not totally clear. Microsoft kind of talks about Windows 11 having advantages or, you know, but it's it, like everything with Windows 11 since the start, not super clear as to what exactly they're uh, going to have as a advantage. But they're referring to Windows 11 as the greatest operating system for gaming with direct storage. But it is also coming to Windows 10. Now, what do you need to know about direct storage? First of all, what is direct storage? So they've been talking for this for a while. Um, what happens is in the gaming, we've kind of hit a, um, a wall where if you want to go forward with more beautiful graphics, textures, and worlds that are, you know, infinite, what happens is the way that right now we were doing things was kind of making it a little complex for this to really happen we were at the limits of what the uh the api was all about so te technically if you play a game right now a standard game um i'll give an example of halo infinite that i play a lot here on this machine what would happen is you would load the game that's why it takes a lot of time to load the game because the game needs to load the main core game but it needs to load the graphics that are, of course, compressed. Why? Because if they weren't compressed, games were just too big and it would be impossible to, to download. Even with a fast internet connection, it'd take forever to download the game. And we see it. We already see that it's already long to download games and have them installed. So the compressed graphics, what happens is that they have to be decompressed by the CPU. So that's one part of what happens with our games right now, is that the main processor of your computer is actually going to decompress what's needed and then send that to the GPU, the graphics processor, for its processing of the graphics on screen. But that creates a problem, is that we have kind of a bottleneck here. There's a limit to what that can achieve, and we are pretty much there now. So what happens is that if we want to have better games in the future, we'll have to change our technology. So Microsoft thought about a new thing called direct storage. It focuses on the fact that our disks, our solid state drives, especially the NVMe solid state drives, are very fast and capable of gigabytes of data every second. So what direct storage does is change the way that we actually have the games going through our computers. First of all, instead of having to load a core game and then to load all the textures that are compressed to have them decompressed by the CPU, now what happens is that you load everything but you push the compressed graphics directly to the GPU. You don't even need to actually have it stored uh, in RAM and then pushed to the GPU and decompressed by the CPU and you understand how many things had to happen before all of that was working. Now all you have to do is it goes from the disk compressed directly to the GPU that can decompress it and use it as it's going on. So as long as your solid state drive is fast enough to feed the graphics processor with all the, the, the data needed, um, I mean, it just works. Decompression by the graphics processor is way more efficient also. It decompresses all of that at a much faster speed 
than what the processor of your PC is capable of. So all of that together makes for much faster processing of everything in a game, including its textures, its graphics, the multiple worlds that you have to go through. But it is at a cost. It is at the cost of you need to have fast hardware and you have to need you need to have the latest hardware. This direct storage will not work on an old standard hard drive. It's not fast enough. And even with an SSD, the NVMe SSDs, you will definitely have an advantage of getting the fastest of the SSDs out there, like the Samsung uh, Pro that is one of the fastest out there. So this is something that you will have to choose carefully to help your PC run as smoothly as possible with games. But this opens up a new world and also opens up a different world because instead of, you know, right now you have to load the game, you wait for the game, you wait for the textures to load and you have all this progression, this direct storage is so fast that you basically won't even have to wait to start to play a game. It's just going to be almost instant. So it's a different uh, API, it's a different way of dealing with the same graphics, but it's a much more efficient and faster way of doing it. And now it's available, so that means if your computer has the hardware required and is compatible with that, because uh, it's fast enough, now Microsoft and the games that you'll actually purchase in the future will mention that they are direct storage compatible which means if your computer is capable of doing it, it will actually install and it will actually run with the direct storage uh, API. You won't have to choose. It's going to do it, uh, and that's it. And this is going to make your frame rates in the games faster. Even on hardware, even if you don't change your hardware, if it's capable of direct storage because it's fast enough, you will actually see an improvement in frame rates in games even if you don't change anything in your hardware, as long as you have the minimum requirements for direct storage to run correctly. So that's the story behind it, and it's now available, which means games should start appearing with direct storage capabilities, both for Windows 10 and Windows 11, uh, within the next months, basically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.